Hello my future RN friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Once again, this is Beth from Reality Life Series and for those of you who have been watching my videos, you already know me and for those who have not, once again, my name is Beth and I have been making videos um, to help out you guys pass with your ATIT's science exam, okay? So um, in this video, I have created at least 16 questions regarding the skeletal system and it has some anatomy and physiology questions. I know I have mentioned in my previous series that I'm going to make 60 but at this time I have been busy like we've been cleaning up in our property and stuff so I have no time to do the 60 questions. However, I will be continue I will continue doing it um you know this week so I will have a new video up um, in should be in the weekend okay so before that go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't so and so you will be updated for my future videos okay so let's get started okay the first um, term or the first review that we, that we are going to go over is about the bone. The bone loss due to stimulation of osteoclasts may result from a parathyroid tumor that is due to overproduction of a hormone called PTH or parathyroid hormone. So the bone loss due to stimulation of osteoclasts may result from a parathyroid tumor that is due to overproduction of a hormone called PTH. Number two, osteoclast is a cell that nibbles at and breaks down bone and is responsible for bone resorption. Okay, again, osteoclast is cell that nibbles at and breaks down bone it and is responsible for bone resorption. I need to take a deep breath because I'm starting to feel nervous. I don't know why, but <laughs> bear with me. Okay, number three, the following are the steps of bone repair. So bone repair has these following steps. Okay, the first one is hematoma, which means a solid swelling or of clotted blood within the tissues. Then next to that is the formation of a fibrocartilage callus. Then number a letter C or third step is bone and debris removal by osteoclast. And then the last one is bone deposition by osteoblast. Okay. Osteoblasts are the cells that form new bone which come from the bone marrow and are related to structural cells. So this is a really good review because um, who knows one of these um, uh, terms will come out in your TEAS exam. It, the TEAS exam has like four different types. I'm not quite sure but at least four that I know of. And you know you are not really guaranteed which type of test you know will show up when you're taking the teas okay okay number five phalanges or phalanges are bones that can be found in both hands and feet so do not confuse if there's a choice that says just hands it's wrong and if there's a choice that says feet it's wrong as well because phalanges are bones that can be found in both hands and feet okay so number six when you trace a circle uh, do this as I read this um, statement. Your thumbs move around and this is a best example for circumduction. Circumduction means the, the movement pattern which is a combination of flexion, flexion, bending, extension, adduction, and abduction. Okay, it occurs at synovial joints where a circle can be described by the body part. Again, number six, when you trace a circle, your thumbs move around, and this is a best example for circumduction. Circumduction means the movement pattern, which is a combination of flexion, extension, adduction, and abduction. It occurs at synovial joints where a circle can be described by the body part. This term is mostly anatomy. And number seven, ligaments are bones that are attached to other bones in the same joint. So do not confuse ligaments and tendons. OK, 
Okay, while tendons are flexible but inelastic cord of strong fibrous collagen tissue attaching a muscle to a bone. An example is the hamstring of a quadruped. Okay, again, tendons are flexible but inelastic cord of strong fibrous collagen, fibrous collagen tissue attaching a muscle to a bone. An example is the hamstring of a quadruped. So, if you are asked in your teeth, like, how do you classify um, your hamstring of a quadruped? Is it tendons or ligaments? So, the answer would be tendons, okay? Number nine, the pubic symphysis is a good example of cartilaginous joints. Again, the pubic symphysis is a good example of cartilaginous joints. I will have um, a multiple choice questions for this um, PowerPoint, but only the members who join to my channel can access to it. Okay, so it will be um, 16 uh, questions as well. Number 10, ribs, vertebrae, and skull are classified as axial skeleton, while clavicle, shoulder girdle, the upper limbs, the pelvic girdle, and the lower limbs are classified as appendicular skeleton. Okay, number 10, ribs, vertebrae, and skull are classified as axial skeleton, while clavicle, shoulder girdle, the upper limbs, the pelvic girdle, and the lower limbs are classified as appendicular skeleton. Number 10, to avoid bone loss due to osteoporosis, stimulating the activity of osteoblasts, osteoblasts and inhibiting the activity of osteoclasts must be done. So to avoid bone loss due to osteoporosis, stimulating the activity of osteoblasts and inhibiting the activity of osteoclasts must be done. Number 12, synovial joints are intended for movement in the absence of friction. Okay, so synovial joints moved without using friction, okay? And then number 13, a term for the inflammation of joint is known as arthritis, while osteoporosis is a disease due to ongoing bone loss. So you will most likely encounter this term, but I'm not 100% sure. Most likely, okay? Number 14, red bone marrow comprises the greatest source of stem cell signed for red and white blood cells. Okay. So this is white blood cells, not wild blood cells. I'm sorry for the error. Okay, number 14, red bone marrow comprises the greatest source of stem cells, signs for red and white blood cells. Okay, number four, 15, during the development of bones within the fetus, chondroblast cells functions initially. That's why, um, you know, a, a baby is mostly... Um, composed, not composed of, but it's made up of cartilage, okay? Because con chondro means cartilage, cartilage. During the development of bones within the fetus, con chondroblast cells functions initially. Number 16, fibrous joints are known to be immovable joints. So, fibrous joints are known to be immovable joints. They cannot be moved. Okay, I think that's it for now, and thank you for watching. And this is Beth from Reality Life Series. And let me know if you have any suggestions for my future videos. I would love to um, improve my um, review videos for everybody. Okay? Have a nice day. And I'll see you on my next segment. Bye.